Hey guys, it's Ben here from the Fiberglass Factory. I'm just going to show you what we're doing here with we're moulding off this little speed. Before we do, if you could hit the subscribe button, that'd be fantastic. Here we are, we've got... Oh, this is off a... It sort of looks like a Tirana skip, doesn't it? Which is interesting. But uh, we could probably we could run it both ways, which is pretty cool. This is originally plastic. Because it's plastic, we can't blend plastic to steel, so... That's why we've opted to mould off it and we'll just keep the mould and, and be able to offer the product to buyers. So here it is, we've we actually put our gel coat down already. So we, we waxed it up, uh, then PVA'd about four or five times just to give it a real good release. And then we've just um, started our, our process now, we put the gel coat down and then yeah, we can start laminating it. Just cutting some tissue here, some surface tissue. A little bit short. That's okay. This is this just replaces bog. When we're actually making it, we don't want to be using bog in molds because it falls out. I'm going to cut some matting. I'm just getting it ready for the laminators. You are smashing it today. And we've got to keep up with them. A little bit extra tissue just to put in places that it's hard to to curve around, like particularly at the front. At the front here, it's all tricky in through here. So we'll definitely have to put a couple of layers of tissue in there just to conform to these, these intricacies. That's a layer of 450. I'm gonna probably do uh, five layers of 450 and a layer of two to five and a bit of tissue. Now we can go and cut all their matting to suit. Just use this as a template and then I'll come back to you when we're starting to glass it. So the layup that we've done here is a layer of tissue, paper, and then a layer of 225, let that go off, and then after that we've done two lots of 450, let that go off, and then another two lots of 450. In between layers we'll sand, and we'll also be checking to make sure there's zero imperfections, and if there is any, then we'll die grind those out with a die grinder, uh, just to make sure that the parts are perfect part and we're gonna get long life out of the mold. And when we go to re release the pattern from the mold, so we stick plastics in between, wedge them in there and, and pry the thing apart. Now when we start making parts out of this mold, we will need to break the mold in, and that means that we'll put a layer of uh, wax, which is gonna work well with PVA, so a non-silicon based wax, and then we'll PVA four or five times, just thin coats, and then uh, we'll do that like two or three pulls to make sure that the mold's broken in and then we can just use a straight, not a silicon based wax after that. Thanks very much for watching.